Welcome to the Counselor Overview of the Counselor NOAA Cloud System. Uh, once you have Counselor NOAA Cloud installed, there are two simple areas for accessing the system. First off, within the patient profile, you can click under Actions and then Launch NOAA. The second area is, is within the patient visit screen. So you can either jump into an existing visit or create a new visit. Regardless, in this screen you will see, uh, once again from the Actions menu, Launch NOAA is included. Now, if you do not see Launch NOAA included here, that may, may, may mean one of two things. First, your uh, clinic group may not be activated for Counselor NOAA Cloud. So if that's the case, please reach out to the Counselor Support Team and we're happy to get NOAA Cloud activated for you and talk you through that process. If you are sure that you've been activated for Counselor NOAA Cloud and maybe other people in your clinic have access to NOAA but you do not, that likely means that the uh, individual user setting needs to be updated. So in order to check that, you click under Administration and then User List. Now this would be um, uh, something that an administrator within the organization would do. Um, but we can go ahead and click on an individual staff member uh, to edit that, their profile and then click the Security tab. And if you scroll down, you'll see there's an option specifically for NOAA. So if there's any uh, staff member who does not have access to NOAA, but you want them to have access to NOAA, then make sure this is checked and click Save. Once that's in place, immediately uh, that user should be able to bring open a patient profile and uh, you know, launch NOAA directly from there. Okay, so let's go back into the patient profile. Now there's different reasons for why you may want to launch uh, NOAA Cloud from with within the patient profile versus within the patient visit. For example, if this patient just came in for a quick clean check and maybe we're gonna uh, connect up the devices and do a, a quick reprogramming, you can launch it straight from here, right? Uh, another uh, scenario would be, let's say we're gonna test this patient. And so we're going through and we're taking our case history and we're doing initial work. And now we wish to launch our no compatible audiometer. Well, that'd be a great reason to launch it from uh, right within the patient visit screen. It's important to note that whether you launch it from within the patient profile or within the patient visit screen, there's no difference as far as how uh, NOAA Cloud behaves, how the data is stored. So it makes no difference whatsoever. It's just a matter of what's the most convenient with your workflow for that scenario. Okay, but once you launch NOAA, it's going to, it may ask you a quick uh, question if it's okay to launch that file, just always say yes to that. Um, and that may vary based on your browser and your computer and things. But once it launches, you will see any modules that you currently have on that device. So if you're on, say, a testing computer, you may only have a few, right? Maybe you have the, uh, you know, the, the suite uh, related to the uh, audiometer and uh, tympanometer equipment that you have, right? Maybe you have others. On fitting computers, you're going to tend to probably have more. You're going to have maybe the fitting information or fitting module, but also, um, uh, uh, I'm sorry, fitting modules for the various manufacturers, right? So you may have more there. So it's completely normal that on different computers, you may see different modules, okay? Because uh, it's important to note that the modules, whether we're talking about equipment or hearing instruments, behave the same way as they have in the, you know, have with traditional NOAA, right, where you host the NOAA database, or if you've used any other office management system where you're using a cloud-based NOAA service. Uh, point being is that whenever you need uh, a module, manufacturer or uh, equipment manufacturer or hearing manufacturer, you're gonna install that the same way. You'll reach out to that manufacturer, they'll provide you with the file in some format, download, flash drive, whatever the case may be, and you're going to install it on each device where you need to use that module. Okay. Once it's installed, then you'll see it here within Counselor NOAA Cloud. So once again, Counselor does not store the modules at a cloud level. Those are stored on individual devices. Okay. But very importantly, the data, the fitting data, the uh, 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 testing data is stored at a cloud level. So if you were to perform testing, and maybe you program some devices, you could open up Counselor NOAA Cloud on another device and see those sessions instantly, right? So it's all saved in real time. You do also, by the way, have the ability to have multiple staff members working within the same patient NOAA file simultaneously. So you could have someone who perhaps is performing an evaluation uh, using a testing module and someone else who's progr programming up some demo devices uh, using a different computer. So that's completely fine.
Okay, now just to highlight one, one module in particular, of course, is the Counselor Synergy module. This is the module that enables you to transfer audiometric and emittance data uh, from NOAA into Counselor or pull that data that you've already entered into Counselor back into NOAA. And so in this case, we can see that this uh, patient does not have any test data currently in NOAA. It's important to note that if you were using a NOAA compatible audiometer and tympanometer, you would see the information here. But in this case, we've entered two audiograms directly into Counselor. And I'm gonna say, let's take this audio and let's import it, okay? What that's gonna do is gonna pull that information over. And now we can see that this information is now in NOAA. And if you notice behind the scenes there, uh, it updated with that information as well. So for example, if we were to open the NOAA audiogram module, we would see the test data that was a moment ago, uh, you know, was, was created in um, Counselor itself in the audiogram screen. So what we can see here is we were able to import. If you need to export, you would uh, you know, select the test data that you wish to export. So this would probably have the name of the equipment um, uh, manufacturer that you utilize. Uh, so you would select that and then you would wanna select where you want that data to go, okay? Uh, now in the typical workflow on Counselor, you would have already utilized um, the patient visit screen, more specifically Counselor Insight to collect the case history right and you know creates that process of you know already building your reports and you'd say i want this test data to go into that visit i've already created in counselor okay and in that case it wouldn't say audio because you wouldn't have the test data in there yet so you'd be saying i want this test data to go into this visit and then you would click export that's a particularly important step um, the, the the fact that you want to select the visit because you're telling um, the counselor synergy module where you want that data to be sent to Right? If you leave it generic, it will actually create a new visit uh, and because, because you haven't designated one. So you do want to make sure that you designate where this is to go. Okay. Um, now, uh, one other quick uh, thing, if you do not have any visits currently in Counselor, that's fine. You still, of course, can export the data. One thing I do want you to uh, watch out for is there is a, an options list towards the top here with the various clinics. So you can select different clinics. So if this is the first time you're exporting data using Counselor Synergy, you may want to select, or you, sh you do want to select the clinic that, you're, that you are in at that time, right? Um, and that way uh, it sets that and remembers it going forward. And so you don't have to worry about that going forward. Okay, so just a quick check, first time using Counselor Synergy, just double check the clinic is correct. And then if there are visits, make sure you select which visit you want this data to go into, okay? Um, all right, so we're gonna close this up. And now we can see, like, as I mentioned, we have that test data that we pulled in, in this case, from Counselor into NOAA. And then you can use that right away. Once again, you can view that through the audiogram module. You can open up any you know, uh, fitting modules that you want and program devices straight away. Now, as you may have noticed here is this uh, Counselor NOAA Cloud is currently open for this patient. So if you wanna work with the patients, of course, you need to close the Counselor NOAA uh, Cloud module. Um, and in fact, it's just really just best practice that as soon as you're done with Counselor NOAA Cloud, go ahead and close it. Uh, because each time you then search for a new patient, you can launch Counselor NOAA Cloud. If you, it is already open, you'll get a warning message telling you that it's already open for another patient. So just best practice, as soon as you're done, whether it's programming, whether it's testing the patient, go ahead and just close the Counselor Synergy module, uh, if you have that open, as well as the Counselor NOAA Cloud module, and you're ready to move forward then with the next patient. Of course, if you have any questions about this process, please let us know. We're always happy to discuss this further and help you troubleshoot. So give us a call, email us, live chat us. We're always happy to help. Thank you very much for joining us for the Counselor Overview for the Counselor NOAA Cloud System.